Okay, you finally saved up your money for a vacation in a great hotel in a terrific location. So where do you, your family and friends spend the most time? The pool! What if I told you you could have one of the coolest hotels and an amazing pool all in one? It's all next on Great Hotels. Nestled on Sleepy Crescent Lake with an eye shot of Epcot at Walt Disney World lie a couple of fantasy-themed resorts that transport you back to the turn-of-the-century summer homes of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. The Disney Yacht and Beach Club Resorts. Thank you. I'm staying at the Beach Club Resort and has a really relaxed feel to it outside it in. It's kind of like Grandma's fabulous beach house. Good afternoon to the lady. Welcome to the Beach Club. Hi. My name is Art and I'm here to take care of any concerns that you have while you're with us. Well, thank Welcome you. Hey, what are these pins? They're neat. These are trading pins. And what we do, if you have any Disney pin that I don't have on my lanyard, then I must trade with you if you see one on my lanyard that you like. Oh, so I have to get one of these and then I can start trading pins. Indeed. Do you mind that I'm touching you? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> give well. the guy a break, Samantha. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, so I'll get one of these. Indeed. And I'll be back. We'll do business. Absolutely. <laughs> The hotel lobby really sets the atmosphere for the rest of the hotel. And as you can see, this one is just really relaxed. Has a big wooden staircase, wicker furniture, area rugs, big outdoor planters. Kind of feels like a porch. You know, and all the activity of a house goes through the porch. You have kids running in to get a snack, grandma coming out with her sun hat. You just see all the energy, and that's kind of the atmosphere you have here. Now, the architecture is considered stick style. And that means uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, there's some balconies, some fancy millwork in the ceiling. I see the seashells on the lights. Just, you know, very whimsical. I love whimsy. Okay, what do you want to do? You want to check in or do you want to see the beach? This is the main reason why people come to this resort, for the New England seaside setting. And it comes with the works, too. A sandy shorefront, a lighthouse, a boardwalk with restaurants and shops. Although I gotta tell you, I grew up on the New England coast and I don't remember palm trees. The pool and water park system at this place is huge. It covers over three acres and is designed to look like a Nantucket beach, complete with a sand bottom that feels great underneath your toes. Walt Disney World has literally dozens of resorts here with all different price ranges that pretty much suit everyone's taste and budget. There are 572 rooms at the Beach Club. 29 of them are suites. Oh, here's my room. <laughs> this is very exciting. Bathroom. <gasps> it's turquoise and pink. Definitely a seaside theme going on here. Seahorses on the lights and on the bedspreads. Oh, look. And there are bubbles, and some are in the shape of Mickey Mouse, just in case you forgot where you were. There are two beds and a day bed, and I love the day bed because I really like to take naps. If you take a nap on a real bed, you're down for like an hour and a half. A day bed? 20 to 25 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. Got a little table and chairs here with checkers. That's cute. And if you don't have checkers in your room, just call down. They'll bring you some. But the best feature of this room is the balcony. Oh, isn't this nice? So quaint. Now, I have a standard room with a view. And here's a tip. For just about $40 more, you can be on the side of the resort with all the views. And I think that's worth it. Okay, it's time for a treat. Beaches and Cream is a little soda shop located just between the Yacht and Beach Club resorts. And the classic diner food is all made to order. You can get cones, sundaes, milkshakes, but I'm getting the kitchen sink. And that's not just a figurative term either. It's literally a kitchen sink. Fill her up, Edwin. 
Are you ready for this? All right. We got butterscotch, peanut butter, and hot fudge toppings, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry ice cream, two scoops each, then one scoop of coffee and mint chocolate chip, and strawberry, pineapple, and marshmallow topping, angel food cake, brownies, a full can of whipped cream, then more brownies, Oreos, a Milky Way bar, a whole banana, cherries on top, and rainbow and chocolate sprinkles. And because we're at Disney, it's all low fat. Not. Wow, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. To all you root beer flow drinkers out there, wimps. Just across Crescent Lake from the Yachtin Beach Club Resorts is an authentic recreation of an Atlantic City-style boardwalk. Back in the early 1900s, families gathered together in Atlantic Beach towns and strolled along these wooden walkways in search of a little entertainment. At night, this place comes alive in a blaze of neon. Atlantic City has to be the most popular boardwalk. You know how it came to be? The restaurants and the hotels had one major problem sand it was everywhere so a man came up with an idea to separate the beach from the hotels and restaurants by a boardwalk pretty smart and you know what the man's name was alexander boardman i'm not kidding you there's all kinds of things to eat here mediterranean seafood oh, corn dogs hi okay how can i help you one corn dog please here you go thanks you're up Tomorrow, I'll be working off the kitchen sink Sunday with an ultimate pool experience. And then, guess what? There's a whole separate nautical-themed resort right next door. We'll explore it all next. It's a beautiful morning, and I'm staying at the Beach Club Resort at Walt Disney World near Orlando, Florida. When you're staying here, the plan is to get into the action fast. And the best bet for doing that is to get breakfast at Cape May Cafe Buffet, which opens its doors at 7.30 a.m. sharp. This is the most popular event here at Disney's Beach Club Resort. It's the character breakfast. And the Disney characters walk around with beach garb. It's great. You have to make a reservation, though. It's packed. There's this buffet. It's fantastic. I'm going to make a few laps. Don't take all the pancakes. <laughs> There are a lot of kids here. You could make a killing babysitting. Who needs a babysitter? <laughs> After eating this whole breakfast, I'm headed to the pool. But to call it a pool, it's not, it's not right. It's more like an aquatic playground paradise. Oh, wait till you see it. The paradise is called Stormalong Bay. It's a huge water park in the back of the resorts, and I know the perfect ride to start with, too. This is the Flying Jib Slide. It's a water slide set in a shipwreck that rises 150 feet above the water. I'm ready to go the distance, though, which is 230 feet of straight drops, twists, and turns. You can gently float. This is the quiet pool. Perfect place for families to play with their children in the sand or the shallow water. Now, if you've never been to one of these resorts with the pool, let me fill you in on the situation. Positioning is everything. What pool you sit by, whether it's a lounge chair, a beach chair, a table with an umbrella, the hot spots go fast. Hotel guests can get downright competitive. Fathers with strollers, vicious. Being poolside is great, but you can't very well laze around all day, so I headed back to the hotel. It's between checkout and check-in time, so they told me that I could check out the presidential suite. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like I've just walked in to a dollhouse, right? I mean, everything is just so perfect with little furniture sets and I love these arches. Very nice architectural moment here. Now, the feeling that they want you to have at the beach club is that of being in grandma's fabulous beach house. And if that's the case, then grandma's got some serious cash. <laughs> She's got a, a formal marbled entranceway with a chandelier, a formal dining room, a living room, the very Whimsical seacoast motif here with the seahorses, seashells, paintings, all done in the colors of, what is it? It's, it's saltwater taffy. Yeah. Ooh, I like this room. Wicker beds, plaid linens, big puffy curtains, lots of comfy chairs. Oops, got a wet bathing suit on. We'll sit on that. Lots of space. Space is very important in a vacation. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, now if you were traveling with your family, this room would be the parental refuge. Look, you've got a jacuzzi tub with a view, a television to watch grown-up shows, and, oh, the best, <laughs> a lock. Oh, yeah. And it looks like there's a balcony out there. It's a big one, too. You have a view of the gardens and the beach. Very nice. Now, the Beach Club Resort is connected to the Yacht Club Resort, which I hear is very nice. And, well, maybe we should check that out just in case we might want to stay there someday, right? Yeah. The gray clapboard exterior of the five-story Yacht Club Hotel evokes memories of summers in New England. As you would imagine, the Yacht Club is a little more formal than the Beach Club. There are antique style chandeliers, oak floors, and you can actually smell the oil from the floor. There's a large globe greeting you as you come in. And look up at the balcony. See the banisters, the ship wheels? Oh, and there are models of ships everywhere. I would imagine that this is where the alumni from Harvard would hang out, but you know, it's very relaxed still. I mean, this is Disney. It's pro-family, and the kids here run as fast and scream as loudly as they do over in the beach club. The rooms at the Yacht Club are finished in a blue and white nautical theme. The seashells of the beach club give way to ship's wheels and rich rose pattern bedspreads. The presidential suite, the captain's deck, is sort of a sailing guy's heaven with dark oak carved furniture and nautical paintings of racing boats. The dining room sports needlepoint heraldry on the chairs, very Ivy League. Just beyond the quiet lagoon of the Yacht and Beach Club and only five minutes away is Walt Disney Epcot theme park. You probably already know about Epcot, but if you haven't been there lately, you're in for some surprises. That's next. having a nautical good time at Walt Disney World's Yacht and Beach Club Resorts near Orlando, Florida. Just about every 15 minutes, there's a neat canopy boat that will take you from the Yacht and Beach Club to Epcot. These boats sort of remind me of the ones you see in pictures of boats on the Seine in Paris or Thames in London. And that's appropriate because this one is taking me to the International World Showcase at Epcot. Epcot's World Showcase, you can explore 11 countries and four continents all in one vacation. You can literally take a trip around the world as nations are recreated in landmark architectures and historic scenery. There's a lot of attention to detail and it really does give you a feeling for what the country is like. Each national showcase is staffed by young men and women who actually are from that country. my little portable camera with me and of course I will be needing to have my picture taken in every country I visit. Hey, could you mind taking a picture of me? Of course I can. Thanks. Everybody loves 
Rosa pub, especially in the United Kingdom. I'm at the Rose and Crown. And did you know that the earliest pubs were actually the corners of somebody's house that they sold beer out of? I didn't know that. The replica of the Eiffel Tower is just one-tenth the size of the real one, but they used the original blueprints by Gustav Eiffel to build it. They even have little elevators that ride up, but you have to be like, you know, seven inches to ride in them, so I don't know if you'd want to try that. Okay, say cheese. Formage! Now I'm in France, or as we Americans say, France. And it's designed to resemble the Belle Epoque period, the 1800s, the beautiful time of France. And oh, it smells wonderful. Oh, a parfumery. Ooh. All the products in the shops are actually from the countries that, um, that they're from. <laughs> okay, enough perfume. Exotic Morocco has winding streets, watched over by prayer towers called minarets, and of course, a bazaar. Can you take my picture? In Japan, there's a pagoda, which represents the stages of the Buddhist universe. Earth, water, fire, wind, and sky. And up there is a lightning rod, because we're in Florida, not Japan. Can you take my picture? Sure. Just see me right there. Okay. Okay, smile. Rising up in the background of Epcot is its trademark building, a huge geodesic dome called Spaceship Earth. Do you know what Epcot stands for? Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Now, of course, it's just known as Epcot. When Walt Disney first conceived the idea of Epcot, he wanted to build an idealized utopian city where people could live in harmony and comfort. Well, Walt Disney died before Epcot was completed, but I think he would have been pleased at how the nations of the world have come together here. There's a really unusual international parade through the streets of Epcot every night called Tapestry of Dreams. You find a big parade at just about all the Disney theme parks, but this one is like something you would only see in Europe or South America during a big festival. Right at 9 o'clock every night, there's a fireworks spectacular over the lagoon called Illuminations. Every burst is intricately timed to the music. On a giant globe floating in the water, there's a visual portrayal of what it's like when people of all nations come together in peace. I bet your art doesn't have one of these. It was the last one. Hi. Hi, I'm going to take help these. You. Yep. And this. Okay. I'm just starting. Oh, you're going to have a wonderful time. <laughs> I was right. He didn't have this Mickey yet, so I traded it for a Tigger. Excellent. And there you are. A pleasure. Thank you so much. A pleasure doing this. That evening, I had reservations back at the resort at the Yachtsman Steakhouse. Hi. Good evening. Ooh. Here's the aging room where they age the meat. Oh, what should we get? Look at that. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Those are New York strips. Four of those, please. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, this is a serious steakhouse. Don't come here if you want to lose weight. Look, this is the portion of butter, so just Order a bottle of wine, get a big honking piece of meat, and promise yourself you'll join the gym tomorrow. Oh, thank you. This is a USDA choice, grain-fed Black Angus New York strip. Classic. Oh, mushrooms sauteed in cognac. 
It's a salt crusted baked potato with just a touch of butter. Oh, turning into a man. Oh. oh, thank you. Cows have four stomachs, I have two. One specifically for dessert. <laughs> Well, that was a fun day. I can't wait to see my pictures. Hey, what happened? Oh, good shot. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh, I look awful. Oh, this is one for my mom. Where's my head? Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort is definitely a family place. And you think, well, it's Walt Disney World. Everything should be about the family. But somehow with its seaside setting, it's even more so because everyone remembers family trips to the beach, spending the entire day in the water, walking along the boardwalk, and eating too much ice cream. For Disney World, their mission is simple. They want you to have a magical time. And you'll see this in the environment you're in and with the cast members you encounter. When they greet you here, they say, have a magical day. And at first it seems kind of strange, but then you think, thank you. I will. I will have a magical day.